Hi, and welcome to Nicole Sleep Atelier. In this video, you'll learn how to stretch a canvas. Today, I'll be stretching canvas on deep stretcher frames, which are an inch and a half deep. In addition to your piece of canvas and stretcher frame, you'll need staples, a staple gun, and canvas stretching pliers. Cut your canvas or linen about five to six inches bigger overall than your stretcher frame for deep stretcher frames. So I'm working with an 18 by 24 stretcher frame, and this is about 29 by 23 inches. Now you'll notice there are some wrinkles in the linen, and I'll show you how to get those out afterwards. Now you might notice there's some white patches here too, and that's just from a different brand of size that I used that unfortunately left a little white residue, so don't worry about those pieces. Now you'll notice the stretcher frame has a beveled edge to it, right along here, and a flat edge right along here. Put the beveled edge face down. The edge is beveled so that there's only one ridge of wood along the canvas rather than two like there would be on the flat edge here. Place the stretcher frame face down, beveled side down, on the linen or canvas, and then center it and just make sure that the linen or canvas can fit over the back of the stretcher frame comfortably. Then just adjust it until it's centered. Now ideally you want the stretcher frame to be in line with the grain of the linen so it's not at a diagonal or really crooked. So that looks about good here. So for the first one I'm just using my fingers to stretch the linen over the stretcher frame and then put in a staple in the middle. Now I'm going to rotate the canvas take the pliers firmly grip the canvas and stretch it reasonably tight. You might be able to see that it's buckling here, but not excessively tight. You don't want to pull the staple out there. And then pop a staple in the center here. Now rotate it and do the same thing on the other sides. So just a gentle pull and a staple in the middle. And then a bit more of a pull here. And a staple in the middle. Now ideally you want to be seeing these pull lines diagonally across the canvas. Again, there's still some wrinkles, but don't worry about that. We'll get those out later. Now we'll start stretching the canvas around the frame. So we're going to do a couple staples on either side, rotate and do a couple staples on either side. So no one side gets pulled too tight, but the whole thing progresses at roughly the same pace. Now I deliberately keep these middle staples not terribly tight. Um, so I might, sometimes I find they, they pull out um, while I'm continuing to stretch the canvas. But I'll just redo them if that happens. So on the long sides I might do two staples on either side of the middle. And on the short side for now I might do just one. Still trying to keep an eye on the weave of the canvas and trying to straighten it out as much as possible. So this one I didn't pull with the pliers because the weave would be a little bit crooked there. So I'm going to kind of pull that on the other side. It's starting to get tighter already. Keep in mind that linen and canvas can tear if you pull too tight. So while we want to pull tight, um, it shouldn't be at the breaking point. I think it's better to stretch a little bit too loose at first and then tighten it up if needed. To tighten up the canvas and to remove the wrinkles, I'll be spraying water on the linen. 
Now here I notice there's a little kind of sag in the middle. And I'd like to pull that a bit tighter, so I'm going to remove that middle staple that I added, uh, the one that was a little bit loose. Just pull a bit tighter here. Now pulling that has removed the staples on the other side. So I'm just redoing those. And that happens sometimes. It's a bit of a circular process. So continue stretching around the canvas until you're maybe about this far away from the corner. So I'd say maybe about three inches, two and a half or three inches from the corner on either side. You can see that the canvas is nice and tight. There's still a little bit of give to it, which is nice. Uh, we've got a bit of a wrinkle here, so I might try to get that out a little bit more. And a couple of creases, but those will come out with some water. And I'll show you how to do that again at the end. So I'm gonna try to get this crease out and then we'll do the corners. So still a couple little bumps here, but nothing major. And we're gonna tighten up those corners now. Now for the corners, decide which part you want to fold over and which part you want to fold under. It doesn't really matter either way, um, but I'm going to fold the long side in and then the short side over. I'll show you what I mean here. So on the side that's folding inward, I'm going to continue to staple that pretty much right until the corner. Now at the corner, I'm going to pull the corner of the canvas kind of diagonally across this way. So it makes basically two loops here. Okay, um, so the pull is coming from the corner here all the way to the front corner of the canvas. So I'm pulling that, now I'm going to pinch those two loops and just kind of shimmy the close one over so it folds over like that. So we've got two loops here. One is tucked in and one is further out. Now I'm going to take that whole corner and both those loops in the canvas stretching pliers, give them a good tug, and staple up the corner. You want to make sure that this piece here doesn't extend beyond the canvas. So I'm just going to make sure that's tucked back a little bit here. And give it a nice firm staple at the back. And we'll tuck those pieces behind. Now for these parts that are puffing up, you can just pull them and give them another staple. We have a nice corner that's flat, quite flat, just a little bit of a bump where it's tucked in. Now on the other side, I want to make sure that this part of the canvas is folded over again so it matches this side. So we've got a nice tidy corner here. And now the corners look like this from the front. So you can see on this side, the short side is what's folded over. So I want the same thing to happen on the other side. So here we have an 18 by 24 linen stretched. Our corners are looking good. There are still some wrinkles here though and I might want to tighten it up just a little bit more. So to tighten up a canvas or linen and to get rid of some of those small wrinkles, just take a spray bottle of water and dampen the back of the canvas. 
And you don't want to get it soaking wet. Just a light spray will do. And almost immediately you'll probably start to feel that tighten. Um, and then a couple spritzes throughout will um, get rid of the wrinkles. So where there's a little bit more of a wrinkle, I might spray that a little with a little bit more water. You can see the water's come through a bit, but I'm just going to let that dry. Um, and that will take out the wrinkles and tighten the canvas a little bit more in time. The canvas is dried now, and you can see that there are no more wrinkles. Um, it's got a little bit of spring to it, but it's fairly taut. Um, and the discoloration here is again just from that uh, the two different brands of size that I used. So um, that's nothing to do with actually stretching the canvas. You can see the corners look good. And that's how to stretch a canvas. Thanks so much for watching and happy painting. Visit NicoleSleethAtelier.com for art courses, demos, and more.